Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well, we got a Palmetto State Armory box sitting here on the uh, countertop, so you know that can only mean one thing. There's something rifle related in this box. Uh, if you're a fan of the channel, you might remember that about four or five months ago, I had a fan of the channel donate some money to the channel, and uh, basically it was able to cover the price of a lower, an Anderson lower. And I was showing off the Anderson lower and talking about it, and I finally got that assembled. Well, I didn't have an upper for that lower. So I was debating for months, do I want to go 300 Blackout, 224 Valkyrie, do I just want to go 556, what, what do I want to do? So I kind of went back and forth. Then I realized that there was one thing that was missing from the collection. I've got the AR pistols, I've got the rifle length AR, I've got the standard carbine. I didn't have anything mid-length in the collection. So let's go ahead and show you what I picked up today. So we've got ourselves a Palmetto State Armory complete barreled upper, upper assembly. It's already going to come with the uh, bolt carrier group and the charging handle, or at least it should, okay? Uh, nice thing about these uppers is in the state of Nebraska, they deliver them right to your door. And this was supposedly a blemish model. I have no idea where the blemish is. I don't see anything right now, but let's just take a look and see what we're dealing with. So this is a 16-inch uh, mid-length complete upper assembly. Let's go ahead and start taking a look at that. Complete means that it's going to come with a bolt carrier group and the charging handle. Um, I do have a different charging handle I'm going to swap it out for. Why did I go this route? Well, it was only $199.99. I didn't have a mid-length upper in the collection. I thought, you know, let's just go ahead and add one. This is from the uh, Freedom Collection. It's got a nice heavy barrel on it. You got that A2 sight on the front. I do have a Magpul MOE um, handguard coming. I managed to score one on eBay for $15 used. Only used a couple times. Now, if you see any marking or Mars or anything on it that looks a little bit out of place, when you clean this up with a little bit of CLP, it really does fix up the finish. They've got the uh, bolt carrier group locked in there. Looks like it's been charged maybe once, just to ensure that it works. And uh, what I'm going to do real quick is just go through the features. What exactly do you get when you buy a $200 mid-length uh, Freedom Line, okay, uh, complete uh, barreled upper assembly from PSA? Let's go ahead and run through that real quick. All right, so you got yourself a 16-inch barrel length. You've got the uh, Chrome Molly Barrel Steel Barrel, okay? Uh, 5.56 NATO chamber, uh, A2 style bro, uh, profile barrel, uh, phosphate finish, one and seven twist rate, M4 feed ramps, uh, F mark front sight post, A2 flash hider, a uh, sling loop, standard hand guards black, forged upper receiver, and M16 bolt carrier group comes with it. The bolt itself is Carpenter 158 steel, and the charging handle. So if you think about it, for $200, you get yourself a complete upper minus whatever you want to do for optics, you know, flip up rear iron sight, dot sight, and so on. You can get yourself a complete lower for $129 from PSA. Um, otherwise, you can go as, late, as low as $99 if you want to go with, say, like an Omega. I think they're called Plum Crazy is another company that makes them from Classic Firearms. So we're going to go and get this, take this apart. We're going to get it all cleaned up. We're going to slap it on the lower, show it off. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's complete. We'll get the bolt carrier group out and take a look at it too. But as for right now, externally, I really see nothing that looks um, out of the ordinary. I've ordered from PSA before several times. Everything seems to be complete. There's nothing weird about it. There's no gouges or scratches. A lot of people, you know, they buy blemish from PSA and they're never able to find really any issues with it. So handguard's got a little bit of a gap in it, but this is just your standard handguard. You do have the uh, triangle front uh, area that holds a handguard into place, but uh, no, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it right now. So let's go ahead and get it all cleaned up and then we'll take a look at that bolt carrier group and then get it together and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so this is that Anderson lower I was talking about. It just has a standard PSA um, build kit on it with the uh, Buffer, buffer springs, uh, buffer tube, trigger pack, all that fun stuff. It's just all your usual PSA fare. does have uh, Magpul MOE stuff on it. Uh, when I ordered this, I had the Magpul stock and the grip just sitting around. But I'll tell you right now, if you're going to order something like this, it's almost cheaper just to buy it um, ready to go and assembled because it's going to be more or less the same price, if not a little bit less. But if you just want the experience of building your own uh, lower, putting it together, you know, you've got that option. So again, just showing you the components. Now again, I'm not showing you any kind of assembly instructions or anything like that, but just looking at the overall, the carrier itself is very well done. Um, I'm a, I mean, the finish, fine, no marks, no, 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 nothing. No burr marks on it, no tooling marks. It looks just like all the other PSA uh, Freedom Series bolt carrier groups that I've ever purchased before. Staking is average. I wish it had more defined staking, especially up on the top over here. There's just really not much of anything, but it is a state gas key, which is important. You want to make sure that doesn't come loose while you're firing it. But overall, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. The inside's got the chrome lining and the gas key as well as a bolt carrier, which is really good. 
um, little cam pin here, whatever you want to call it, your cam piece is, is fine. It's just your standard, you know, more or less civilian mill spec, run of the mill kind of thing. Um, over here, we got your little pin. You know, it's just what you're used to seeing. The bolt itself is, is well built. You've got your gas rings. I need to space those out a little bit. And it is over oiled right now, guys. I'm still in the process of cleaning it, so I'm not going to put it back in this uh, overly lubricated. But, you know, overall, it's a nice bolt carrier group. And I purchased many of these before, and they've always been very consistent. And again, no, no PSA logo on the bolt carrier itself. Firing pin, standard stuff, right? No surprises. And yet, real quick, before I forget, uh, charging handle comes with just a standard uh, mill spec charging handle. No surprises. I do have a uh, double star model, I think is what this is called. And it's got a Strike Industries charging lever that's on it. It gives you a little bit extended lever. gives you a little more grip on it when you're pulling it out. I'm going to try running this on it. I've never, uh, well, no, I have tried this before, actually. Uh, normally, I run a Bravo Company uh, Ambi setup uh, like I have on my Bear Creek Arsenal rifle. But for this, we're just going to try this extended latch and see how it works. Um, these are just a little add-on that you can put in any mil spec uh, charging handle. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this put back together. We'll get the rifle put back together, and then we'll show you what we're going to run. Okay, now I will be running a scope on it uh, for the first range test, but I'm going to show you what my basic kind of transportation setup is going to look like. All right, hang tight. And here's the finished product. So this is going to be my uh, new truck rifle, truck carbine. It is over-oiled right now. Don't worry about that. I'm going to wipe that off with dry patches. I like to let the COP kind of soak in for a while. And then uh, after that, it puts a nice uh, protective coat on it. So again, we've got the 1 and 7 twist. 16-inch uh, mid-length uh, Palmetto State Armory. Complete barreled upper assembly is what I got with a bolt carrier group and the charging handle. This is just an NC Star carry handle on the top. I'm going to put some other optic on it, but for now, it's just going to go up on the top. I did a video on not this one, but a previous NC Star. Had trouble with it, sent it back to Amazon. They sent me a new one. We'll see what happens when we try to sight this one in. My other one, I had to crank it all the way to the left just to get the gun to shoot straight, and it wasn't a front cannon sight either. I knew that for a fact. So this is a different carry handle than what I had before. Uh, Magpul MOE, uh, pistol grip and furniture, just all standard run-of-the-mill stuff. And I uh, just cycled it a couple times and dry-fired it. Had no trouble with it at all. Let's go ahead and get it. Take the mag out. As always, I keep my uh, home defense firearms loaded at all times, but I don't keep uh, one in the chamber with the ARs. But anyway, uh, Anderson lower, enclosed trigger guard, just your standard PSA trigger group, nothing too crazy. And again, it's... Uh, I was pretty impressed with it. it bolted right up. I had no trouble getting it to, to mount up with the, uh, the Anderson lower. Uh, I did put, I don't know if this is anodized and this is just a phosphate finish. So you do have two different types of finish on it. So it does look a little bit different. This is more of a matte finish and this is shinier. Although it's cleaned up nice and I can find absolutely no markings at all that would tell me that this is a blemished upper. So for whatever reason, PSA decided to call it blemished. Pass the savings on to me. No complaints there. Got your mil spec buffer tube. So, you know, overall, if you were to buy this as a complete lower, let's say it was all PSA, you'd be looking at about $139 to $149 on sale for the complete lower, and then $200 for the upper. So for $349, you can basically get yourself a complete rifle, which is a heck of a bargain. So if you don't have an AR-15 yet, you need to go ahead and get one. You're going to be running out of time. I got a feeling at some point the price of these things is just going to go up. I don't know if they're going to go any lower than, say, the $300 that you can currently score one for right now. Uh, right now, the patterns, the trend seems to be that uh, AK-47s and Milserps are what's going up in price. You know, it's hard to find a good uh, Wasser 10 for under $600 these days unless it's beat up. So anyway, guys, yeah, that is what we're running. I'm going to be happy with it. Again, this is a little ugly, but we're going to put some optics on the top when we break it in at the range and test it. Um, otherwise, I'll usually just put a <clears throat> red dot up on the top and some sort of a flip up iron sight on the rear to use it. And me personally, I like the fixed front A2 front sight posts. I just prefer that design. Not a big fan of the flat front, but anyway, guys, that is it. So that is your Palmetto State Armory. I believe I said that's the Freedom Series, if I'm not mistaken. 16-inch uh, mid-length, one and seven twist, complete upper assembly, right? 200 bucks on clearance right now, free shipping, and I was very happy about that. And again, they just deliver it right to your door. So guys, if you like what you see, please like or subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, gunchannels.com. Uh, guntube.org, YouTube, GunStreamer. I'm on all those platforms. Most of the time, the, travels, the, the channel's called Travis P11. Um, otherwise, on gunchannels.com. Uh, Saturday mornings, we do a podcast called Caliber Corner. And uh, that's an 8 a.m. Central Time podcast. We have various gun topics we discuss every week. Got a really cool panel that hangs out, and we have a good time. So that's it, guys. So uh, again, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. Please like or subscribe. Uh, and as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, guys, take care and have a good one. Uh, hopefully the next time you see this rifle, it'll be at the range. We'll give you a range test, and we will talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye, guys.